Hey guys, welcome in today. I got a fun little fall project for you guys today having to do with trees, tracing your hand and adding some multicolored leaves. Um, now that it's fall outside, I thought this would be a fun, easy project for you guys. Um, the first thing that you guys need is a little experience, a little practice on tracing your hand. Now my hand is quite a bit larger than yours, but I'm gonna try my best. So I'm gonna start out in pencil. So as we get right into it, the first thing that you need is your pencil and your hand on your sheet of paper. Trace that as best as you can. Now, like I said, mine is a little bit larger. So as I trace mine, a little tip that I use is holding the pencil further out. I feel like if you hold the pencil close, you kind of bump into your hand a little bit. So I feel like if you hold it a little further out, it makes it easier to trace over and also spreading out your hands. Instead of them nice and close, try to spread out um, because this is going to be a tree. So we want our branches to kind of fly um, nice and wide in there. So after you got your hand, you can go over that in crayon. You can go over that in crayon, kind of fill in that, and that'll be kind of the trunk of your tree. And then we're going to add our color with our fingerprint um, dots for almost the leaves of that as we go into that. So I'm going to go quick and fill in this um, with my brown. All right, so I got that all done. I got my tree all colored in. Nice, I tried to stay in the line as, as best I could. As you see, I kind of started out with tracing over the hand and then kind of filling in. All right, so now the most fun part of this is taking your paint and doing all your leaves in the multicolor. So I always start out with the lightest color. So the lightest color would be yellow. So we'll start out with the yellow. Just getting a little bit on your finger and then kind of spreading it out throughout until it kind of runs out on your finger. And then you can get some more. So I'll go through on this and the other colors, going kind of in order, so yellow, orange, red, as it gets a little darker. All right, so I got that part done now. Now I just need to do the background. Remember, the background is not the back of the paper. It is actually what's behind the object. So for this part, I'm just gonna use crayon, and I'm picking two different kinds of blues for this. And instead of coloring up and down, kind of like I did my hand, I'm gonna go sideways and fill it in nice um, for the background in a blue, kind of for like our blue sky. So here goes that. All right, guys, so the last little part I wanted to add after I finished all my little dots on the tree is on the bottom, I wanted to add a little bit of grass. So I wanted to take a little bit of green and take my finger. I'm going to use the finger kind of technique also. And this time, not doing dots, but just doing kind of stripes in the same almost direction that you kind of colored the tree. So adding the stripes on there. On there. You don't have to do by the tree. And kind of leave the tree open a little bit and that gets, just kind of completes it and kind of frames in the bottom a little bit better i thought all right so that's that that's our little project for fall 
tree leaves with a handprint and adding a little bit of grass in the background. So definitely if you like this project, give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure you hit the like button down below. While you're down below there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already to my channel. Um, lots of free fun art videos, easy projects, um, coming out with multiple ones a week. Um, hit a comment below. Also, if you have any ideas for me, um, I'm always looking for new ideas of fun projects um, that I can do with my kids. Um, As always, I am Mr. Shooty and this is Mr. Shooty's art class. Thanks for viewing. See you later.